All right, ended up putting new tires on the 430. Um, I still went with the Carlisle rib tires, but they're a little different. They changed them. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain if anyone else runs into this. Uh, tires that were on this were 13 years old. I was mowing about midsummer, and I saw the front tire started bulging out the whole sidewall about the size of a Twinkie. Um, stretched it right out. I had this one on a rim as a spare, so I went ahead and threw it on and figured it was just, you know, a fluke of one tire. And then not even two months later, I was mowing and one of the rear ones uh, just split apart and went flat on me. So I figured two tires within two months, something's going on, it's time to just put a whole new set on this because the last thing I wanted to do was, you know, come winter time, be plowing or something and have a tire failure. Now, the tires that were on it were Carlisle Power Track 2, um, made in America, 21 by 11 by 8, four ply tire, but they currently don't make the Power Track 2 anymore. They changed it. They're still made in America, four ply rating, but they're a Carlisle AT101. The size of these guys is just a little off. So, if you're going to replace one tire with the AT01, I would replace two, whether it be the two front, the two rear, make a match. Um, I think the Power Tracks 2 rode a little smoother because they were a flotation tire that were ultra low pressure. They said max tire on the Power Tracks was, was five pounds. I used to run six in a mowing and then if I had the, the scoop or something on here, I'd have to put 10 in because it would still really smash these sidewalls down. And even lifting the mower deck with 10 PSI in the Power Tracks, it would, it would sort of just crush and smash the sidewalls. Now, I've had these on for about three weeks to a month now, the AT101s, and I've noticed um, the inflation on these says 22 PSI, so they're a little harder of a tire. Um, almost the same exact thing, but I've noticed now when I lift my mower deck, the sidewalls don't flex on these. And I wanted to wait before I posted this video, but I put the bucket on the other day and I was lifting as much as the tractor would lift and it doesn't crush these sidewalls at all in these tires. So I'm pretty sure, I don't know if Carlisle had an issue with them, maybe, but. Um, so if anyone's looking to get newer upgraded tires, the, the AT101 seem to have stronger sidewalls and seem to actually work a lot better on this tractor than the original Powertrack. So I uh, figured I'd go ahead and share that.